Okay, so let's take a look at what we need to actually get started. Good news, if you're watching this, presumably you've already got a computer. And if you bought your computer in the last 18 months or so, you can almost guarantee that you're going to be absolutely fine to run all the music software that we've got planned and do everything in the course. If you just bear with me, I've got this, this MacBook I bought four years ago. Actually, I didn't. I spilled orange juice on the one I had six years ago and got it replaced from the insurance. But that is still going absolutely strong. Um, granted, it was a powerful computer when I bought it, but it's worth around £300 on the secondhand market now. And if your computer's worth around £400 or so, the likelihood is it's going to be fine. The important things are processor speed. If you've got a at least a dual core processor, if you've got an Intel Core 2 Duo, if you've got an i3 or an i5 processor, they're the, the newer ones, then you're going to be absolutely fine. If you've got an older computer and a, a slightly slower computer, you're probably still going to be fine as well. It's just if you've got, if you're not running Windows 95 still, then the likelihood is you might not be able to do everything to a very, very, very high quality, but you'll still be able to have fun making music, and that's the important point. Uh, RAM is a really important uh, feature when it comes to making music. You might hear RAM referred to as memory. Ideally, you want four gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you don't know how much you've got, you should be able to find it in your system preferences or in your um, control panel. If you've got less than four gigabytes of RAM, what I would advise you to do is go to crucial.co.uk or crucial.com and put in your laptop model or your desktop model into their uh, memory bank finder and they'll tell you exactly how much you can put in. They'll advise you which models to buy and there's even setup guides available. It's quite easy to put RAM in, even if you're not very much of a computer kind of person. And going up to four gigabytes makes all the difference when it comes to making music. And it's probably only going to cost you 15, 20 pounds, you know, 30, 30 dollars tops. If you can afford it, it's a great way to, uh, to just give your computer a little bit of an extra kick. Hard drive space, the more the better, really. Ideally, you want to have around 25 to 35 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive because your computer will be moving audio around. It will be using its virtual paging files and swap files and so on. You don't need to know too much about the technical here's and there's of it. But the more you've got free, the better. Um, and in general, the more housekeeping you do to your computer before you get started installing all the software and so on, the better too, because you know if there's an existing problem, you're only going to exacerbate it by installing new stuff, and it's going to be more difficult to troubleshoot uh, any problems that might arise. So the best thing would be to have a clean slate. If you can reformat your computer and start all over again, then that's great. Don't just rush out and press the format button. You might lose everything, so make sure you know what you're doing. If you've got a techie friend, get them to help you. If you can't or don't want to just completely start again and reformat, just make sure that you've done all of the requisite housekeeping. You clear space, you defragment your hard drive if you're on Windows, just make sure that you've got no viruses, no uh, nothing bleeps at you when you turn the computer on and so on and so forth, just so that we've got a nice smooth starting point. 